the sun our home planet earth other planets of our solar system and 100 to 400 billion other stars their own planets millions of black holes and other celestial objects they all are part of the milky way galaxy when it comes to astrophotography the milky way galaxy is on top of the bucket list of each and every space lover and photographer so in this video we will be covering the milky way season of 2021 and spoiler it's already going on what's the best time to observe it and how to capture it especially in india so without any further ado let's get into the video hello everyone and welcome to astro rocks the milky way season refers to the time of the year when we can see the core or the center of our milky way galaxy and usually for the northern hemisphere it lasts from february to october and the peak is in july and it's a gust don't exit the video yet because you still have a lot of time left the view changes from the southern to northern hemisphere because uh, currently the south pole of our earth is facing the galactic core and that's why they have a little bit better views and better images if you're team northern hemisphere you don't have to feel sad because you can also see the galactic core but just not as easily how it is seen in the southern hemisphere the milky way core starts rising in late january so it's not visible from november till january it starts rising from late january and hence all your travels plan should be from february to october we will get to how you can capture the milky way galaxy with just your smartphone but before that let's see what are the best practices and the best conditions needed the best days are those when there is no moon at all in the sky because then the sky can get really dark and the milky way galaxy could be captured easily without the interference of the moonlight the second must is staying away from satellites Light pollution is our biggest enemy when it comes to capturing these objects celestial objects in the night sky other than the clouds itself so distance yourself from the satellites as much as possible and remember the lesser the phase of the moon the better results when it comes to astrophotography a tripod can be extremely helpful because you cannot just hold your phone and point it to the sky you have to capture long exposure images if you can get a tripod or anything else that can you know keep your phone sturdy that will be helpful the next things are some basic settings which i will be just telling and you can find them in the pro mode of your camera app and if you do not find them you can download another third party app from the play store or the app store because there are plenty of them available and what you need is a uh, manual settings and the control of the manual settings so to start keep the iso at the maximum iso is the brightness of the image when you increase the iso the image will get brighter and brighter so this helps to capture the images when there is very less light since we are shooting the milky way at night we need to increase the iso and brighten the image of the core of the milky way to capture it try keeping your iso anywhere from 1600 to 6400 but also remember if you live in a light polluted area you will have to decrease the iso because there is already so much light present in the sky the next thing you need to do is keep the widest aperture settings as much as possible for your phone usually this is denoted as f So you can keep the focus at infinity the aperture at maximum and keep your shutter speeds from 10 seconds to 30 seconds see what works for you best How does that sound because that's all there is to astrophotography at least the starting one and then you have to practice trial and error and patience but to sum it up here are the things that we discussed so far First try to stay away from satellites second choose a day when there is very little cloud cover and also very little moonlight third a tripod is very helpful fourth keep the iso as highest as much as possible so from 1600 to 6400 have the widest aperture possible again in your phone sixth the shutter speed can range from 10 seconds to 30 seconds seventh and the last keep your focus at infinity not auto focus be patient with the process you might not get the best results on the very first day on the very first try but keep learning with every image that you are taking you can also have a reference star or a reference uh, planet for example the planets saturn and jupiter are present on the left hand side of the milky way galaxy you can see 
where exactly those two are where exactly your reference star is how much milky way is you know capturing in your phone but it really comes down to what your location is how dark your sky actually is and what device you're using and which day on which day you're capturing the galactic core and that brings me to the next part which are the best remaining days from august to october to capture this image the timings i'm going to mention are going to be in ist indian standard time so let's start on august 7 which is a no moon day the core will be rising at 7 35 pm and it will set at 1 35 am so this is the very first day that you can start practicing your skills the next day is on 4th september on 4th september the moon is 5 percent illuminated the core rises at uh, 7 almost 7 pm and sets at 12 30 uh, am so again you can see how much it's changing in just one month the next date is in 11th september as on that day the moon is 25 percent illuminated the core rises at uh, again 7 pm and it sets at 11 pm then the last chance is on 2nd october uh, on 2nd october the moon is 15 percent illuminated the milky way core rises at 6 30 pm and sets at 9 45 pm so not a lot of time left the direction of the milky way actually keeps on changing so it's better you use an app like stellarium also i have given the link of a milky way calendar based for india in the description below so you can see what are the best days that work out for you mark your calendars and start doing astrophotography now we've come to the end of the video so that's it for this one i hope you find it helpful and learn more about the milky way season in general and if you did please let me know in the comments because youtube cannot read your mind any engagement in form of comments likes share is much appreciated from the bottom of my heart and again, if you have any queries, you can ask me in the comments and I'm more active on Instagram. So you can follow me there for more content like this. And you can also even tag me in your astro photographs. So thanks for watching and clear nights guys. You can capture the Milky Way galaxy with just your smartphone. <laughs> so I'm trying to just show the smartphone, but look what type of images are coming. And... 400 and 100 to 400 billion other planets they're on stars billions of stars and solar system and they are stars they're stars